Hello, Internet. Sure hope that the audio, audio is actually going. Complains about audio bitrate every single time. So if we do actually have anybody watching, I guess that's mostly you, Sam. If you can confirm that I'm audible, that'd be very helpful. Hello. There we go. There's that sound. And I can hear myself now, too. Okay, wonderful. All right. Well, welcome all two of you. <laughs> it's the Wednesday night stream. Church of the Eternal Lamb. Just cracking open a tepid... Key Lime La Croix. Let me uh, crank up my volume here just a second. I'm always a little bit hesitant with that. Is that a bit better for you? I can also take it a bit higher if need be. Let's try that. Oh, that seems really hot. Is that okay? All right, I'll just put this. Uh, uh. All right, all right. Uh, it's always a struggle. All right, that has me in the yellow. I think that's probably okay. All right. I'm going to run with that. Anyway. So it occurred to me, as I was getting set up for this week, I go, oh, geez, where am I going to find more games to play? Yada, yada, yada. Oh, right. I have a bunch of old games stash, stashed on my hard drive, backing up one server, moving to another server. I've just never cleaned them out. So among those, one of my all-time ridiculous favorites is this game, Future Cop. LAPD. Now, if you have any familiarity with the Strike series, like Jungle Strike, Desert Strike, Helicopter Attack Games, Isometric Perspective, this was supposed to be one of them. And then through years of development or whatever else, this game happened instead. So, oh, I'm going to configure my uh, controls here in a little bit but let's just take a look at the briefing and get a get a feel for our first mission here well that's very quiet hang on audio just crank that way up let's do it see if that's better all right. A little better. Oops. Uh, 
Okay, let me see if I can get the uh, Windows machine audio a little bit higher up. And I realize it's really blurry right now, don't worry about it. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Hmm. Where's my dang volume control on this thing? <laughs> Again, I built this thing ages ago and then proceeded to forget everything about it, so. Hardware acceleration. been so long since I regularly use Windows 98. But I now literally do not know where to adjust the volume on it. There. Thank goodness somebody's paying attention. You can catch up with me, bud. There we go. Okay. So that's about as high as it appears to go there. And... Check audio as well. Let's see if there's any more I can do here. Try that. And I have to resize it again because you change anything in OBS and suddenly. Oh no. All right. Let's see if it likes this anymore. I'm going to tweak that up just a tiny bit higher. Thank you so much for your patience. Alright, now I think it'll be plenty loud. Alright, running with it. I'll just let the intro play. The city of Angel. No Angel here anymore. Unless you count Angel Mendoza. Angel runs a tattoo salon in Hollywood. He's a recon mutant with six hands. Angel gave you this. X1 Alpha, you got yourself a code seven. This is the LAPD. Nice work, Wookie. Now where was I? Oh yeah. Big LA. 
Mutants, gangsters, chem lords, whacked out cyborgs, high tech, this and that, we got it. Remember, kid, serve, protect, survive. FX1 Yep. That's the game. All right. So let me just quickly remap here. Hmm. That so I just gotta remember Z is jump, space alt control. That's all pretty standard stuff. I'm doing this all one handed because, of course. Oh yeah, it's a Pentium too. You don't need to know otherwise. Okay. Let's um try the briefing. X1 gun. Alpha, X1 Alpha, code three. Proceed to the observatory. Officers are down. Hostile air and armor units confirmed. Be advised. Civilians are caught in the crossfire and the situation is rated X. That's why we need you, darling. Your target is one Miles Mysterio. He's converted the Park Telescope into a plasma cannon. Gets his kicks bringing down commercial aircraft. Bag two this morning. The department wants this assassin taken out. That's a code 7X. No assistance needed. He's all yours. All right. So we got the gist, basically. Now let's just make sure it actually uh, renders, renders in 3D. Mysterio's in the observatory. Go. Take him out. Crowd control situation. This is absolutely straight up the type of game this is. I am going to turn it down just a little bit, though. Proceed to the west and head for that gate. That's your way in. LAPD. Ineffectual as always, I presume. Yeah. Tweak it down in general a bit. Got all the levels. All the levels you could possibly want. All right, now if I can just remember. That's jump, of course. I can see the gate. Oh. The gun is in your Pardon way. me. Check it out. Yeah, maybe, maybe I deal with these uh, myriad enemies. Everything's fine. Everyone's being very rude, but everything's fine. I'm wondering if I can do this control scheme slightly better. It's action key. I don't want to say change target. There we go. That's right, the robot can transform. Oh, hello.
That took a little too long. Plasma mines in your area. Watch your step. I'm already running out of health. That's not so great. Here we go. That's a gun weapon power up. Oh, nope, that's out of bounds. Actually rejoin the fight here instead of just wandering around. Watch it, they've got air support. Gotta love those sound effects. Use the control box to activate it. Oh, an elevator. Not. Nice shot. I choose to believe this is based on the contemporary LAPD. Take that. Oh, hello. Not helpful at all. There we go. Try it like that. Groovy, the exit is clear. Move out. Yes, that um that's what I'd describe as clear. Intruder alert. Exactly the route. But clearly, I'm not uh, not about to be a speedrunner of this or anything. I can't imagine a lot of people speedrun it though. I know. Deactivate the plasma fence. That's your way out. Oh yeah, thanks. ripped off the guy's name from Marvel Comics, you know. Not even a second thought. Primary plasma gate there down. Aerodrome security compromised. You dropped the fence. Great going. Good going, X1 Alpha. 
You're welcome. Yeah, can you cut the cut the patter? That'd be appreciated. I know this trick. I just love the manic PlayStation energy this game exudes, even the PC version. Yow. I've decided I don't care at the wrong time. That's better. Wait right there. I've got a little surprise for you. Alert, enemy incoming. Whoa, this is a big one. Can't even see the thing. There we go. Sick UFO, bruh. The ship is auguring in. Watch it. Good work. Keep moving towards the observatory. A temporary success. It's a red plasma fence. Find the deactivation switch. These things are always a full heal, so you can kind of just be deeply irresponsible. Susie, if you believe that, that was E's doing. That was not mine. I went along with it because I, you know, I don't think it looks cool, but not my idea. Jeez. That's a heavy weapon power up. All right, don't with that. Where's that gate? Almost out of ammo. Oh, I think it's jumping puzzle time. Oh boy. Yep, that appears to be the time that it is. Hates heights. Is she in here with me? Blue gate failure detected. Alright, where's Green Gate? Yeah, 
There we go. Nice. Green gate down. Total security failure. That's it. The last fence is down. I can't wait to meet you in person. Um. Yeah, maybe we go into walker mode for this. The wait is over. There's the observatory, X1 Alpha. Take him down. You live just long enough to regret that. Somebody had way too good of a time with the 3D model renderer. Okay. So this has a whole campaign that I might go through. We'll see. It also has a single... Well, it's a single player mode if you play it by yourself. You play it against Sky Captain. It's also the multiplayer mode. You can switch it to multi. You can do split screen. I think it has a network no uh, mode. Pretty cool. But it's honestly a MOBA. And I personally find that fascinating because this predates you know, Warcraft 3 by four years anyway. So why don't we take a look at that? I'm trying to remember... Really what the best one is. Let's do Venice Beach, sure. And configure our guns a little bit. I was always really fond of the electric guns, so I'll do that. Yeah, in fact, I'm just going to go straight for my config as a tiny child. There we go. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. This mouse is garbage but I paid five bucks for it so until I find something better in PS2 I'll stick with it all right here we go so you build waves of units and you send them out against enemy units and you have a base to defend and an enemy base to destroy. And, you know, you can say that's basically capture the flag or whatever else, but, uh... Feels very MOBA S to me. Also, this has Sky Captain in the single-player mode, and, uh... He's a bastard. Okay, so power-up's up there, if I can figure out how to get up there. So building the tanks sends them out yes. to uh, basically handle that turret, did you? I'll see collecting you in turrets in the map. Turrets in the map then reward you with points that you can spend I on uh, local bases or more units or what have you. Oh, hello. Got his ass. Alright. Trying to get to 50, because at that point I can just unleash a flying fortress and uh, kind of make his life hell for a little while. I haven't seen him yet, though. That's a little concerning. Fly, my beauties. Hmm. Probably want to grab that. These little camps let you um, send units from closer locations. Outpost 3, taken by Red Team. 
Let's go ahead. Yes, waste your time. I live again. No, he got shot down. He probably went to my base. It says that I live again whenever he respawns. I have no idea where I am on the map right now. Yes. A little awkward. Okay, that's my base. Oops. <laughs> he does this the whole game. Like, I, I grew to hate this guy. He's just always talking shit. Oh, and here he is. No! Oh, whoops, wrong button. You didn't need that turret, did you? My left channel is a little bit crunchy, I gotta figure that out. Okay. Hey, there's an unclaimed turret. Way lower than I want to be. Where are you? Like I'd say. As though. I think a couple turrets are gonna respawn here. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab this. Hopefully, frustrate him a bit. This one-handed control scheme is maybe not the best move I've ever made. And I keep reflexively pressing Where buttons with my right hand. They aren't doing anything. Uh-oh. Well, that sounds like you got something expensive. Oh, this is his base. This is maybe not a thing I should be doing, yet here we are. Enemy within blue base perimeter. Ultimately, you have to escort a tank into the base, but I'm not doing quite that well right now. He also grabs power-ups, which is not a problem in the case of ammo, but is a problem. Ooh, uh-oh. I'm probably about to die. Enemy within red base perimeter. 
Uh oh. This is going very badly. He might have me here. And I'm playing on the easiest difficulty. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know how to get back into my base. That's not ideal. Twenty points short still. Ooh. Free turret. Yeah, the soundtrack rips. Do not know what it is about the bass on this. But it's messing with it pretty hard. That blows it completely out. I hope that's not hurting anybody's ears. Bring it down a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. Oh, he's attacking me right now. He's just not hitting me very much. Get him. There we go. Now we got some money. That's walking around money. Nope. I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. Flying Fortress. Red flying fortress activated. Choppers just defend your base. They don't go anywhere else. But the Flying Fortress does pretty much clear out the center of the map. I don't think it captures turrets, though. That's the weakness. Probably, ooh. I live again. Where are you? Just handle this from over here. Oh, never mind. Ah, they got me. That's no good. All right. <laughs> You're making this too easy. I think I just spawned a bunch of tanks now. Let's do that. See if we can escort them. Alright. Are you for real right now, bud? He's got four tanks. Only the finest looping music. Yeah, Flying Fortress is a monster. I love it. Ignore me. You are beginning to anger me. Oh, 
I've lost track of all the tanks. There they are. Got him. Alright, you're with me. Unless you're both going that way. They do take a pretty pokey uh, way of getting there. Wonderful. That means I can shield you with my body. Oh, or not. Or I can just fall the hell down. Crap. That tank is very dead. How oh, disappointing. easy do you think we're making it? That's a question for the audience. Because I really am not just phoning it in here. <laughs> I just don't remember how to play. No! Red Flying Fortress activated. I live again! Alright, let's try this one more time. Should be okay. Emphasis on the should. Yeah, that's how you do it. Tanky lads. Guys are both going this way. That's exciting. Oh, very directly. At least I assume it's directly. I don't remember. How? You can't run forever. Gotta get ahead of him without falling. Yeah, there we go. See if I did this successfully. Probably not. Dang it. Darn it. I live again. Fly my duties. Red 
Oh boy. Again. Enemy within red base perimeter. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Now this one I just stick with the whole time. Excuse me. It's just a bigger, meaner tank. That's all it is. Tell it's police music because of all the random words. Mostly numbers. Wait, did you just take the hell off? Ugh. You can't run forever. There it is. Uh, okay, good. Good job there, bud. You are beginning to anger me. Oh boy. Enemy within base perimeter. Well, Enemy within base perimeter. Oh, damn it. I'm out of tanks. Ugh. And this was supposed to be a demo reel. Whoops. Bow before me. Wow. Rude. Okay. Do I already have one? Oh, okay. Red thread not activated. Excuse me. Okay, he doesn't capture stuff. Or she. I don't know. It's a dreadnought tank. When I'm, <laughs> I don't know of anything about it.
So yeah, that's uh, that's that. So then as you um, beat Sky Captain, the model changes, he becomes more aggressive, more in command of the map. It's pretty neat. So this was a pretty good one. I enjoyed it a lot back in the day. I probably will revisit it again. In the meantime, though, why don't we try something completely new? And by completely new, I do still mean old but one that I have not personally played before. Again, 3D Modder over had way too much fun working on this game. You gotta be able to play the whole credits when you quit the game. That's just common sense. You can skip this. All right. While I was at it, I also installed Boy, this is a bad mouse. Starship Creator. Which I think a friend of mine played, but I never got the chance to try it myself. Okay, let's um, remove Admiral. Ugh. Ooh, caps lock got put on. There we go. Processing. Okay, a bunch of classes. It has not told me anything to do just yet. Okay, well, why don't we work on... Processing. Oh, okay, so you do have to select a class. Got it. As a basis, that makes sense. Hmm. I do love a Miranda. I think we're going to do that. Commencing assembly for new Miranda class. Starfleet vessel. We've got a bunch of Miranda class variants, so stands for a reason. Show me the side view for this. There we go. Well, it's probably for the best I never played this in the day because it would have been all over. Ah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Intriguing. Yeah, it looks good as hell. Whoa. Okay, that doesn't look nearly as exciting from that angle. Do that one again. And yeah, let's just lop off a couple big chunks of the saucer section. Cool. Yeah, let's run with it. Processing. 
Ooh, check out that wireframe action. Assembling structure. Yeah. That's good as hell. Processing. Naming. Keep it on theme here. Processing. Okay. So impulse class C. Ooh. Warp drive. Do we have a bigger warp drive available? Type 2. Okay. Whoa. Man, this gets detailed. Sure, six photon launchers seems fine. Why not? Point defense phasers. There was no install option for these, right? This ship is not spaceworthy. <laughs> this ship is now spaceworthy. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so those are non-negotiable. We can't really switch those. Defense. I'm really just jacking this thing up. Like, why not? Two types of sensors. Class 3 probe. And one of each. I haven't run out of budget yet, so... I should probably have, like, transporters. It seems important. Yeah, whatever. I will have two computer cores. Again, nothing but reasonable here. Clearly don't get a choice there. Oh man, land speed. What else? Support. Support. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so you can have one or the other. Yeah, let's, let's pick luxury. It's the future. Simple turbo lift. Package C. Oh, hell yeah. I have no idea what that is, but here we are. And finally, structure. Yeah, we're going to integrify the hell out of this thing. All right, that's all we got. Processing. Hmm. Okay. Who else we got for Canon? I don't know who this guy is. Hmm. Oh, it's... No, no, no. It is time. It is 100% time. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah, it's time for your promotion, my dude. Captain assigned. Hell yeah. It's your moment, Harry. You've been passed over far too long. Officers assigned to this vessel. Okay. This ship is not spaceworthy. Available crew candidates. Who we got for security? I like Cho. He's pretty good. Who else we got? Hmm. Kira's solid. Chief Engineer assigned. Wait, no. Not sorry, not what I was going for. I thought I was on security officer. All right, dude. Available crew candidate. Who do we got? Man, I got quite a list in here. They do not sort them. <laughs> it's where I just saw Jake Sisko on there, and that would be uh that'd be very silly. And let's let's go with a freebie. Chief Engineer. Alright. Now change off of whoever this old old guy is. Tasha Yar, that's a, that's a possibility. Who was I going to pick, though? I knew I had somebody. Then I completely forgot because my brain is good and smart. Oh, it was Akira, of course. Yeah, there we go. Security officer assigned. Officers assigned to this vessel. Comms. Miss Shelby. Available crew candidates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get somebody personable. Communications officer assigned. Officers assigned to this vessel. All right. Available crew candidates. First officer, you say? Hell yeah. First officer assigned. Officers assigned to this vessel. All right, I'll admit. I got no idea who this dude is. A 
available crew can right, science, you say. Science. Hmm. Could grab Spock. I always grab Spock, why not? Science officer assigned. Chief Medical, we got the doctor right now. Officers assigned to this vessel. I'm fine with the doctor. Counselor. This guy. Available crew candidate. Hmm. Wharf. Where's Wharf? Ah, never mind. Counselor assigned. Personnel allocation by functional specialization. Sure. Processing. Okay. Processing. Take it for a shakedown. This is intense Star Trek action. This is what people tuned in to see. I guarantee. Do I need to proceed or no? Okay. I guess we can accelerate. There we go. Now this is just freaking out. Sitting motionless on the desk. I gotta get a different mouse. I already have a couple parts for this system, I just haven't got them to work yet. I think it's time to cut my frame rate and make my face a little brighter. There we go. Oh, singularity detected. Oh boy. Things are heating up. That's what I get for paying attention to my webcam for a second there.
Well, what stealth does. Oh, they're almost there. Cargo transport failed. Well, hell. Destination 420. I didn't have any cargo shuttles. Nor Sphinx work pods. Well, damn it. It's a Miranda class. What do you want? Exobiology? Jeez. Don't you know there's a war on? This is riveting. <laughs> oh, we gotta launch into something much more Processing. much safer. All right. Processing. Oh. Processing. Processing. Oh. Huh. I'm not sure what's going on there. Well, tell you what. I am going to revisit this. I do have the sequel. But right now, there's something I've been meaning to try, but I haven't yet. So let's see if it works together. Ah, jeez. Oh boy, I really have to replace this mouse. This is a very old, very pirated version of a first-person shooter that didn't get a lot of attention. I do not know if my copy is held up over the however many moves from drive to drive I've performed with it. Also got star control, or star command. Not Star Control. That's a very different game. Might as well grab that while we're at it. Ooh. Hello. Surprise DOS mode. Who? Man, I can fix this. Oh, no, apparently not.
We'll just worry about that later. Or apparently we'll worry about it right now. Classic. Whoa. All right, there we go. Now that's what I was expecting. Okay. Again, that's the content everyone craves. Good old fashioned blue screen. Hell yeah. I mean, that's the point. Why else do you have an original hardware Windows 98 machine unless you're a dangerous degenerate of some kind? And to the commentary I'm getting from a different platform entirely, yes, this desktop is horrifying. That's... I just haven't bothered to get it into better uh, better shape. Let's see if it deactivate and activate. There we go. Much better. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try that again. This time without trying to do two things at once, because God forbid. Computers have gotten really nice, kids, in case you don't remember. Windows 98 uh, was uh, kind of a terror, and I don't recommend it. I mean, I recommend it for me. That's different. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. All right. I'm only doing uh, YouTube right now. I could probably just as easily set up the um, multi-stream. I just haven't, and YouTube, YouTube's archive was really appealing, so I just decided to run with it. Because then it's just a video. Then you're populating your YouTube channel as you go. Um, I'm getting chat from somewhere else that I, I linked it because they didn't join the YouTube chat. I know. It's Slack, by the by. It's nothing that exciting. Nerds who use Slack. So yeah, I do have... A new motherboard and a new video card for this machine, so hopefully it'll run things a little bit better in the future. I do still need to get a better mouse. Don't get this mouse. It's, um, it's bad. It's a very bad mouse. I don't care for it. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe it works better on the bare desk. Let's try that. Let's try that without spilling fizzy water, if I can help it. Eh, that seems a little better. The dot UNRs here indicate that this is actually an Unreal Engine game, and that was kind of a big deal for a while. Like, Unreal and Quake 2 engine games. There was like a Quake 2 X-Men game, for example. I actually need to find that one. But then I'm sure 
people are more aware of um, Voyager Elite Force, which honestly I'd probably play through again, and Jedi Academy, and yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay, so we got Klingons. Let's uh, see if Klingons will play nice. Oh boy. All right. Extremely strong start here. All right. Pop that up. Sound volume, sound quality. Seems good. Oh, no. Okay, maybe I don't get to run an 800 by 600. Maybe that was a little optimistic. All right, here we go. Let's just try running it, running it. I'm going to check the controls because it's very old. Well, the Kilrathi are, if I'm not mistaken, auto aim. Um, weird cats. So I'm going to say probably a Klingon. I mean, I had a weird thing for the Dura sisters as a, as a kid. Actually, maybe it wasn't weird. Okay, didn't like that either. Turns out real jank pirated copies of stuff can be a little sensitive. Okay, well. You know what? Never mind. Let's just launch right into the game. Yeah, but a kill Rathy has literal fangs. We are talking about a cat person. Let's just do it. Human difficulty. Name. Chad. Sure. I mean, they sharpen their teeth, sure. Ooh, all right. So we're in the arrow key era, and without a way to... Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. I don't think this is 3D accelerated. I'm going to try to tweak settings and just hope real hard. All right, here we go. All right, that should be better. Nope, that is uh, not what I wanted to hit. Hello. Oh, they. really got to figure out this 3D acceleration thing. Oh, brutal. Oh, shit. Damn. 
Damn. Man, he talks a lot of shit, too. They're waiting for you in the test chamber. It was only badass the first time, dude. I'm sorry. I got a disruptor rifle. Yeah, I may need to just start over with this one because the fact that it's uh, lagging every time colored lighting appears on the screen is making it kind of hard to play. Alright, let's see if I can find the settings to this. That's Unreal Editor. Well, that's definitely what it's using. Give me just a moment. See, I feel like if I just typed in direct 3D, this would work. But I don't know. Here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we don't have a voodoo card, unfortunately, but what we do have is a PCI Radeon. So, ugh. 
Oh, are you for real? This is also a very cheap keyboard. <laughs> I gotta get some better peripherals. Oh, wow, yeah, this... Okay, the number row starts working as of 5. Interesting. Okay, so let's save that. And... I also kind of want to see if I can set it to 800 by 600. Oh, I could have looked down here. Oh well. Hmm, maybe it doesn't have D3 built in. Oh well. We're going to try it anyway. And it might just crash, but that's fine. It's controls, that's not helpful. It does not have direct 3D. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm definitely I definitely gotta enable new Klingons. That's probably something I can add forcibly later but in the meantime I'm going to try one more thing try that Did not like that either. Well, what a shame. I will have to mess around with that one. Well, tell you nudes what. Is there any interest in another game of golf or something similar? Because we could jump over and do that little community time. Or I can get... Starship Creative Warp 2 installed. So those are our options. I'm very open to either. Whoever's still in here, go ahead and chime in. Let me try this then. See what this looks like. Warp 2, baby. Oh, I gotta find Droid Works. Now that is a game. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's probably happening. Yeah, it's time, even though setup hasn't finished. I didn't learn my lesson from before. All 
I want documentation. How dare you? Don't don't tell me how to play the game. I refuse to know. The year two thousand. All right. Ah, I got that unlicensed chariots of fire. Awesome. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh, there's the Akira. Love the Akira. Big fan. And the Klingon Bird of Prey. Let's go, Akira. CC. Yeah, couldn't help it. Commencing assembly for new Starfleet vessel. Ooh, audio is not pleased. Processing. Have fun in arc. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm not not into it. Not this. Fucking budget looking ass starship. Oh my god. Yeah, actually, this rules. <laughs> What the hell? Okay. What? <laughs> what? Why? This feels unnecessary. Well, Susie likes it, so we're probably just gonna run with it. Alright, let's let's do it. Let's do the long boy. Sounds a little funky on this one. We'll go with the personal pan pizza saucer here. Yeah. That's that's almost proportional. We can't have that, so. Alright, here we go. Processing. Show it to me. Oh my god. Assembling structure. Yeah, this is this is reasonable as hell. Processing. A long boy. Not at all. <laughs> Extremely good and normal ship design. Processing. All right. So we've got approximately two grand left, because apparently this is a very expensive ship. Already got a Type 13 warp system in here. And did it crash? Or did... What happened? 
Oh, there we go. All right. Not sure what happened there. Okay. Oh. Now I don't have sound. That's fun. So you gotta figure that out too. That's why. All right, should be good now. So class seven, matter and matter. But can we add a whole additional reactor? No, we can't. A lot of this seems kind of just set. Weapons. Phasers. Wow, phasers are expensive. Okay. Plenty of torpedoes already. Good to know. Navigational deflector. Shields already completely just jacked shields. Mark 10 computer cores, two of them. Data network, dope. Fucking hell yeah. What else? Let's just jump straight to structure. It's going to need a lot of integrity field. All right, cool. Processing. Okay. Captain Chakotay, fine with that. <laughs> Looks like it. Uh, Chief Engineer Bolanator is also fine with that. Mm, no, not this guy, though. Available to crew candidate. We got more than last time? Oh, we got Hawk. Hell yeah, my dude. Hell yes. Alright. Officers assigned to this vessel. Reg is first officer? Bold. Tess Albany. It's comms. Eh. <laughs> this guy's not a doctor. Game, you crazy. Available crew candidate. Oh, who's Beverly? Officers, Ooh. available crew candidate. Chief medical officer. Officers assigned to this vessel. Okay. Met the Wildman, sure. You know what? I'm gonna give First Officer uh, Barclay a go here. Why not? It's your moment, Reg. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh God. Um. Well, what 
Just run the gauntlet, sure. Processing. I don't know. I, you can't call it a Kira class. Don't call it a Kira class at this point. <laughs> yeah. Non-stop excitement. This was 2000. I feel like this audio cable isn't very good. I'll have to mess with it. But this is all a work in progress, so. This is 2000, and this is absolutely the type of shit I would have eaten up at 13. Like, guaranteed. Then again, Bridge Commander was out around the same time, and that's arguably a way more exciting game. Yeah, we almost made it to the Purple Planet. Focus in, see what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good talk. Yeah. Oh shit. Get his ass. Time passes. <laughs> did, I, did I pause? No? No, time is still proceeding. <laughs> it was too much excitement for the game to handle. Took him long enough. <laughs> this 
It just kind of slowly drifts off this way. Yeah. I honestly don't know. Oh no. <laughs> They've outgunned us. Good lord. Oh my god. <laughs> what indeed are our orders at this point? Holy hell. Well, I guess we give up and leave. <laughs> so much for that mission. I guess you're on your own. Sorry we let that freighter get destroyed. <laughs> Just watch it float. Slowly limp away. All right. <laughs> the long boy class is um utterly Underwhelming. Processing. <laughs> Processing. Oh, that's the only options that there are. Oh, okay. Well, that was illuminating. Processing. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it for tonight. Thank you for joining me Processing. as ever. Um, hopefully, the computer will be a little snappier next time. 
kicking myself for not leaving the gigahertz processor in there and insisting on authenticity. But in any case, should be a little nicer next go around. Please join me then, Wednesday, 7.30-ish Pacific. Otherwise, catch you next time.